Thank you. Uh, thanks for this opportunity. Um, as you know, in clinical practice, um, occlusion of left atrial appendage or the uh, LAA with the thrombus inside is considered contraindicated. Rare clinical circumstances, as in the present case, that LAA occlusion is needed despite persistence of thrombus. While doing this, there is obviously a concern for thrombus dislodgement. However, which safety measures are recommended in terms of procedural technique are not fully defined in textbooks, but can be found in a few case reports. Each report describes a different aspect of these measures, and in this case, we uh, combine them in a whole manner, and some measures are actually new in the present case. This is my disclosure. The patient is a 59 years old man with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and permanent atrial fibrillation. He had a vit vitreous hemorrhage in the eye while on treatment with warfarin. The ophthalmologist did not recommend to reinitiate any oral anticoagulant because of high bleeding risk. Thus, he was referred for percutaneous occlusion of LAA. And initially, a pre interventional T and CT scan were performed. However, uh, as you see here, pre intervention T revealed a mobile and seemingly fresh thrombus in the middle of LAA with a high risk of embolism. So, after extensive discussion with the patient about risk and benefits, we decided to perform percutaneous occlusion of LAA with some modifications from the standard mod implantation procedure and some added safety measures. These safety measures, uh, which are seven in numbers, are as follows. Number one, carotid filters. We, uh, which were embouchured in this case, were placed for each carotid artery to prevent stroke in case of inadvertent dislodgement of thrombus. We recognize it would be better to use a dedicated cerebral protection system like Sentinel, uh, if available, but we do not have. Second, since manipulations to achieve coaxial alignment should have been kept at a minimum, we paid even more attention than, than usual to achieve puncturing fossa ovalis from the inferior posterior region. Here, this is our case. This is the bicaval view showing the inf exact inferior puncture site and uh, short axis view showing the exact posterior puncture site. And number three, the transeptal puncture was facilitated by the stylet of BRK needle, or uh, could be the back end of a coronary wire, to release tension on the catheter because puncture assembly might possibly jump into LAA, like a slingshot, when popped across the septum, as shown here from an, another case. Watch this. This is particularly of importance in case of a thick or floppy septum, a facilitated transeptal puncture. And here, after puncture, you see the transeptal sheet across the, uh, across the septum in fluoro and T. And now, number four. Um, when it comes to sheet exchange, blind advancement of stiff wire towards the left upper pulmonary vein, and that is uh, LUPV, assuming that LUPV is around uh, here. Where is it? Okay. Around here. Uh, in fluoroscopic mu may be misleading due to anatomical variations and close relations between LUPV and LAA, the wire may enter LAA inadvertently. Thus, a pigtail-shaped wire, which is less likely to enter LAA, thus a pigtail-shaped wire, which is less likely to enter LAA, was used for sheet exchange in the body of left atrium instead of exchange in the LUPV with a stiff wire. It was in a wire in our case, but could be a safari or confida wire as well. We believe this is safer. And obviously, we did not cannulate LAA with a pigtail catheter or delivery sheath. And now, number six. We avoided to use contrast injection to delineate LAA anatomy. All measurements were performed by T. Um, Actually, fluoroscopic views can be rotated clockwise in 90 degrees as imaginary, and as seen here, it cor they correspond to the T images of LAA in short and long axis, respectively. So in, our, in the procedure, we have focused on these images, T images. We used amulet device in this case. Amulet has an opening order, as you know, 
Uh, first, when it exits the shorts, it first um, has a ball shape, then triangle, and the lobe. Uh, it is easy to view the um, uh, relatively heteromotic ball configuration in T. We can be sure that it locates the most distal part of the assembly. So by visualizing this relatively uh, atheromatic ball configuration in the left atrium by focusing on T images, the delivery shift can be advanced carefully into the neck of LAA without touching to the thrombus, as seen here. And lastly, number seven. In case of a need for repositioning, the device was recaptured only partially to reveal triangular shape, not the ball shape again, inside the LAA without getting back into the left atrium. By its bigger area uh, than the ball as depicted here, triangular shape could maintain trapping the thrombus behind it. In this video, you see the stage of recapturing. First, the disc of the device was recaptured, and the triangle, and lastly, the ball. As stated before, we stop recapturing at the triangular stage. Here you see the first attempt for deployment. Watch that. We also look for uh, T, of course, but you see that there is an unpleasing appearance. So we partially recaptured it and advanced it a bit further, as seen here. This is the second attempt, and we achieved a correct position and configuration. And finally, after verification of five stability signs, the device was successfully deployed without complications, as demonstrated here by Fluoro and 3DT. This is an first view of disk showing the nice ceiling of Astium, and this is the surgical view. Conclusions. In case of clinical necessity, Percutaneous occlusion of LAA with a thrombus inside may be feasible. And some modifications from the standard implantation procedure are of most importance in terms of efficacy and safety. Thank you. Great case. Any questions from the audience at all? Did you catch anything in the filters, the carotid filters? Was there any thrombus in the filters? No, no, no. And, and tell me it why. Was, it was clear. It was clear. Yeah. And uh, tell me why again you, you, you didn't have Sentinel or you did, you did have Sentinel? Or why did you choose those carotid filters versus a Sentinel device? Uh, we, we do not have Sentinel. You do not have Sentinel. Yeah, in Turkey. That's okay. That's okay. And Amulet versus Watchman? Was there a reason? Uh, actually, there, uh, I have slides for Watchman. Um, I know American operators mm -hmm. use Watchman, but uh, this technique, this no-touch technique, is not feasible with Watchman because the delivery sheet has to be advanced into LA until mm -hmm. its marker aligns with the Ostium. But the newer one, Watchman Flex, has some new features uh, compared to the original one. And re regarding this issue, it has a ball shape because it has a closed end, and it can be used also at this purpose uh, it can be repositioned proximally and distally, uh, and it's appropriate for this Perfect. purpose. That's great. Thank you very much.